Meghan Markle's candidness about her struggles with online bullying and mental health has once again captivated public attention, but this time, her message resonated with a younger generation. In a heartfelt meeting with teens at Girls Incorporated of Greater Santa Barbara, the Duchess of Sussex opened up about being one of the most bullied people in the world. Her vulnerability and determination to spark meaningful change are paving the way for a new digital wellness initiative that seeks to protect young people from the same harm she endured. Meghan Markle's latest public appearance didn't feature royal pageantry or red carpet glamour. Instead, she spent an afternoon connecting with teenagers, talking about the impact of social media on their mental health. On October 2, the Duchess visited Girls Incorporated of Greater Santa Barbara to participate in a new digital wellness program, Social Media U, launched in partnership with the nonprofit organization Hashtag Half the Story. The goal? To equip young people with the tools to navigate the pressures of a digital world that can often feel isolating and damaging. Larissa May, the founder of Hashtag Half the Story, revealed how Megan's openness about her own experience of being relentlessly bullied online struck a chord with the group. She talked about being one of the most bullied people in the world, May shared, emphasizing how Megan's participation in their discussions brought a powerful, personal perspective to the table. As the conversation turned to the emotional toll of growing up in today's digital age, Megan's words seemed to resonate with the teens. Girls Incorporated, a nonprofit organization that encourages young women to be strong, smart, and bold, partnered with Hashtag Half the Story to launch Social Media U, a curriculum aimed at helping teenagers balance the use of technology with real life interactions. As Megan sat alongside May and Girls Incorporated CEO Stephanie J. Hull, the group engaged in discussions about scenarios that tested the teens' emotional responses to social media triggers. Armed with emoji signs, the young participants shared how different situations, like online bullying or exclusion, would make them feel. Megan, having experienced the darker side of online life firsthand, added her own insight, deepening the conversation. The Social Media U program, which Megan helped trial during her visit, is designed with input from teenagers on hashtag Half the Stories advisory board. Its mission is simply yet urgent to encourage teenagers to foster positive relationships with technology while also teaching them how to stay creative and connected in healthy ways. With support from the Archwell Foundation, the Oprah Winfrey Charitable Foundation, and Pivotal Ventures, the program is set to roll out across the United States. Megan's participation in this initiative aligns perfectly with her long-standing advocacy for mental health, especially regarding the impact of social media on young people. During a panel discussion earlier this year at the South by Southwest Festival, Megan opened up about her own painful experience with cyberbullying, which was particularly intense when she was pregnant with her children, Archie and Lilibet. Recalling those dark days, she described how hateful comments flooded her social media, turning a time that should have been joyful into a period of immense stress and emotional turmoil. Megan's story is not just a cautionary tale, it's a call to action. Her involvement in projects like Social Media U and the Parents Network, a campaign launched by the Sussexes to promote child safety online, shows her commitment to creating change. The Parents Network offers a community for caregivers to navigate the complex and often dangerous world of social media, supporting parents whose children have been affected by cyberbullying, depression, anxiety, and even more severe issues like sexual exploitation. Megan's public advocacy on these matters has a deeply personal origin, as she has shared openly about her suicidal thoughts during her time as a working royal. Reflecting on that experience, she hopes her honesty will inspire others to reach out, not just to their friends and loved ones, but also to themselves. In addition to these digital wellness efforts, Megan and Prince Harry have taken a broader stand on online safety. In their first joint interview in three years, the couple appeared on CBS News Sunday morning to discuss their growing concern about the online space, particularly as parents. Our kids are young, they're three and five, Megan said during the interview, reflecting on her fears for the future of their children, Archie and Lilibet. Prince Harry echoed these sentiments, stating that modern parenting demands the skills of a first responder, particularly when it comes to recognizing signs of cyberbullying or mental health issues, which are not always visible. 
As Meghan Markle continues to champion digital wellness and mental health, her commitment to protecting future generations from the harmful effects of social media stands out as a key focus of her public life. Her own experiences of cyberbullying and mental health struggles make her advocacy all the more poignant and powerful. Through initiatives like Social Media U and the Parents Network, she and Prince Harry are working to create a safer, more supportive digital world, not just for their own children, but for millions of others navigating these challenges. While the couple's public lives are evolving, with each pursuing individual passions, their joint commitment to being a part of change for good in the online space remains unwavering. For Megan, the road to healing includes helping others avoid the pain she endured, making her work not just personal, but profoundly impactful.